Hey everybody, Dato Doi here with another tutorial video for Dragon Ball Fighters. And in this video I wanted to cover some things that you guys have asked me directly to do a video on. So the two topics I decided to cover this time is how to stop mashing and how do you use assist in combos. Big thanks goes to DJ Thomas 59 for suggesting the video topic for today. So before we talk about how you can stop button mashing, it's important to realize why players do it. Take for example your favorite game. In that game you're probably entirely comfortable with what you're doing and know what you want to do. And if you were to say get in a stressful situation in that game, such as a really close encounter with an enemy or another player, you would have a plan of action for what you want to do in that. Now imagine that you're somebody less experienced or somebody entirely new to the game in general. Put them in the same situation and they'll probably just start hitting every button on the controller hoping something works. And at its core, that is exactly what button mashing is. For most people, fighting games are an experience in extreme stress. There is no different encounters of players, there are no different sections of calm and nerve wracking. It's just one long match of them versus another player in a battle to see which one of them is better at the game. And to a lot of players, that concept alone is enough to get them hitting every button on their controller in any way imaginable. So now we know what the main cause of button mashing is. It's a mixture of being thrown into an incredibly stressful situation without really knowing what you want to do or even if you did know what you want to do, how you would be able to do it. So now that we know the pieces of button mashing and why people do it, it's actually pretty easy to stop the bad habit. All we have to do is attack the points of not knowing what to do and being too stressed out to even perform that in a real match. So the first thing you need to do is hop into training mode and learn your character's ins and outs. It doesn't have to be anything too thorough, but you should definitely take a look at their normals and special moves and supers. This will give you a good idea of what's possible to do in a match and it will allow you to come up with a plan of action for what you want to do in your next match. The next point is actually something that newcomers struggle with a lot and you can actually see it in DJ Thomas's question. I try to stop mashing in practice, but once I hit online I regress back since more is happening. And that has more to do with the stress part than anything. Now the only way that feeling of stress is ever going to go away is by exposing yourself to whatever is causing that stress until you get so comfortable in that situation that you're not stressed at all. Making sure you get your time in training mode is an important piece of the puzzle, but it's only that. It's just a piece. You still need to go online and practice there as well. Now you can try arena matches, ring matches, or even casual matches before ranked because I think the ranked points and the fact that it keeps track of your wins and losses might be a little too much stress to start out with, so I would definitely start with those modes before ranked. And with that said, that's really all I have to cover about button mashing. It's really just a matter of time and getting comfortable with the game and its mechanics. And speaking of getting comfortable with the game and its mechanics, that also goes for using assist in your combos. Yesterday when the servers were down, I decided to try out Team Gohan in my usual team and see what he could bring to the table. While I was doing that, I realized I had never tried out any big team combos using both of my characters' assist in one string, so I wanted to try that out as well. So I started by looking at Tien's assist and seeing that it pops the opponent up a little bit on hit, and after that I tried out Goku Blue's assist and realized it put the enemy into a sliding state. I figured I could combo a super off that and it worked. So once I had realized that both of the assists had uses, I started trying to work on a combo with my minimal knowledge of the game's mechanics and I eventually got to a point where I could perform this. Now I think these combos have their uses and do a decent amount of damage. You can even choose which side Gohan lands on for mix-ups, but I wouldn't say they're exactly optimal. I've never really been the kind of guy that makes his own combos and discovers new things. I'm more of the type of guy that likes stealing combos I see online. And speaking of that, if you want to see insane combos directly from the source, I would strongly recommend checking out a YouTube channel by the name of Clayton Chapman. This guy has been getting his combos stolen from a ton of people across the internet, so I won't show any in this video because I feel like that would be in bad taste. But with that said, they are stealing it for a reason and that's because this guy is insane. You would think he made the game with how well he understands the combo system. So yeah, definitely go check out his videos, he has a ton of crazy stuff on there. And somebody asked me recently if I had any tips for Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta players, I would say go watch his Vegeta video and try out some of those combos. Well with that plug out of the way, I think it's about time I call it for this video. And I wanted to ask you guys, if you have any favorite combos that you've performed in this game, I would love to hear about them in the comment section below. I'll be down there as always. And maybe while you're down there, if you like the video and enjoy the channel, then remember to leave a like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. I'm Dato Doya, and I'll see you in the next one.